Pitch black is the only way Jesper rolls. Maybe it's just me, Randy. Yeah. Right? Then, all right, I'll go to the bowling center and let me, let me do what I need to do, and maybe you people could quiet it down a little bit. Are you going to tease that story? You should. It's a great story. <laughs> it is a pretty good one. Oh! oh! How about a late drop of the 10? A little Swedish filth on the left lane. And by the way, have I told you that Jesper is my spirit animal? I have. I have heard that. Okay. Watch this. You guys have matching tattoos down that left arm. Almost the stone 10. Yeah. Much better. He actually moved left, parallel left in. And now all of a sudden his ball's reading friction. Did not like it. How about a Brooklyn? Yeah! Uh -oh. Doesn't even acknowledge the Brooklyn. How dare you disrespect the borough of Brooklyn? Yeah. International success here so far at the playoffs, but Svensson entering the eighth off an open frame. Oh gosh. Wow, that looked wide left. Did it not? 100% it did. Look at him. He's like, he's like, oh, okay, hang on a minute now. Well, we might have, we might have something here. The head scratch, how in the world did that get back? It's exactly what he's saying to himself. He can retake the lead right here. We begin the foundation frame. Rob, you know what that strike means? No matter what Bill O'Neill does, he can't shut out Jesper Svensson now. To begin the 10th. He strikes out, he shoots 233. Jesper Svensson can still shoot 234. That was about a half an inch too far to the right. well inside of target that time. Not how he wanted to conclude this one. First ball strike, we move on. Jesper takes game one. Ball. Game one, Spenson. Nothing simple about that last shot he just threw. Wow, just a rack shredder. Bill was making it sound like he was having trouble with execution. Meaning not a ball problem, a Bill problem. It was a Bill problem. He's won everywhere because of shots like that. That's better. So his second strike. Again, if we go to the roll off, ninth and tenth frame, you start on the lane that you ended on. Right. Higher pinfall wins, your max score is a 60. We're not there yet, but we're certainly getting close. O'Neill on the left lane. To back Jacks. Oh, he's feeling it now. Increases the lead to 31. Jesper Stenson is now in a situation where he needs to strike out. I think the urethane balls destroy oil, oil patterns way more. 58 pin lead for the real deal. Working on his second drop double. Finds his first triple. Moved in just a little bit more to test the waters. He went back to the regular urethane and then looked over at his ball reps, shaking his head no. Meanwhile, Bill O'Neill has only moved a board or two, and his shot looks better and better. Oh, we saw the bell. That bell's going to be making some noise soon.
Svensson done with the 164. They want it. They want that bell rung. Ring the bell. You ring it. There we go. It's going to be real interesting. All right, there's the ball change. And no bueno. Oh, oh boy. man. In the ninth, on the right lane. Perfect. Yeah, the perfect, the perfect part of that was kicking the 10 out. And now he slides to the left. Good touch on this one by Bill O'Neill. And there it is. Six pin jackknifes the 10 into the pit. There, he is. there it is right there. Needs two strikes and one pin to shut out. Yes for Svensson and advance to take on West Milan. Uh-oh, uh-oh. How about uh -oh. that strike? You know it's your night when. That's all she wrote. Yeah. Capitalized on a huge break. The seventh seed, Bill O'Neill, moves on.